practice or work on music, I usually like to have pieces that are in different phases. And so I have, you know, the program that I'm playing right now, which is um, Bach, Beethoven, uh, Villalobos, Piazzolla and Barber. And then also I have stuff that I'm planning to um, perform in the next year. So I'm still discovering different pieces, for example, like Beethoven's Waldstein, um, Ravel's um, uh, Gaspard, and like a bunch of other lesser known stuff, like um, some, even some Chinese music. And further back, I have um, longer term projects, like I've been working on the complete um, piano music of Brahms. So I'm always like trying to find pieces within that um, project to you know, further refine and explore deeper. And even further back, I'm also trying to learn the complete um, Mozart sonatas. So like whenever I have time, I just pick up some and you know, work on it, discover something. And it always puts me in a good mood and it's something perfect to warm up with. Something that I guess consumes most of my life outside of music is uh, traveling. So I love traveling, all the aspects about it, you know, the, the flights, the hotels, the destinations, of course, and the food, the wine, the everything. And I love uh, spending time finding out about the different um, destinations and what they have to offer and also the different uh, airlines and hotels and everything. And I also love exploring a good deal and with points, miles, or also cash. And I always find these um, extraordinary deals that um, just are too good to pass up. And I end up doing a lot of travel um, based on what kind of deals I can find. And that has brought me to a lot of places that I would otherwise not have gone to. So on a normal day, when I uh, work with a lot of music, I don't like to listen to music in my free time because um, if my head is being filled with music already in my work, I don't want to have more music in my head. But I listen to a lot of music when I'm in transit, which is a lot of the time. And uh, I have very eclectic playlists, um, everything from you know hip hop to uh, J-pop and um, like Brazilian funky carioca. Um, and also a lot of classical music as well, of course. Um, recently, I've been listening to a lot of symphonies and because we don't get to take part in that. And so it's always great to um, be exposed and also explore this um, part of classical music, which I wish we could um, play ourselves, but can't. So that's the closest I can get. So one piece of advice that I would give to my younger self and also other people, I guess, would be just to take in all the inspiration, all the advice, and all the information that one can get from uh, other people and also the music itself, because there's always so much more to learn and so much more to learn from, for, uh, from the people who have been in the same position before. And yeah, just to take it all in and respectfully decide what you want to do afterwards and also be practical about it. So that piece of advice I think applies to myself and also probably most of the people as well in the late teenage years, like so sort of the college years, because like I think it's at that point when most people have like such strong ideas of what they want to do and what the world is like, but it's not necessarily the case and also Again, there's, uh, like we should always take the perspective of people who have done it and have gone through it. And I think it, it's always very valuable to take that into account.